Welcome to ETF Leaders, powered by the New York Stock Exchange. Joining me today is Katie Stockton. Katie is founder and managing partner at Fairlead Strategies. Katie, great to see you. Thank you for joining me today. Of course, it's good to be here. So Katie, tell me, how can your investment philosophy slash active management help investors to navigate market volatility? My discipline is technical analysis, and it's really known for helping people navigate that market volatility. We focus very much on price trends, which of course are driven by market psychology. So that to us is very important, understanding what is the driving force of that psychology behind the market. So we're identifying prevailing trends and also trying to understand when they're shifting. And that's where the real value can be, to understand when momentum is either increasing or decreasing and to be able to dynamically adapt to that shift and to make sure that you're managing risk by simply limiting drawdowns associated with bearish reversals. So we're really very much price focused, trying to understand how people are positioning in the markets more so than focused on fundamentals or macro research, which of course are really the drivers of these trends. We're just trying to understand from more of a mathematical perspective if the trend is tiring out. Okay, and tell me, what are your expectations for the market for the second half of 2022? Well, we've already had such a difficult first half, essentially. So, and I think we're in store for more of the same, at least this summer. And I say that because the long-term indicators that we track, which are trend following gauges, they are pointing lower, unfortunately, as you can imagine. And this is really a new development year to date. And the, the indicators, honestly, they look as bad as they did in 2008. So I'm not saying it's a 2008 scenario, but it does suggest that we are, it's a little premature to look for that long-term low at this time. There's room to what we call long-term oversold territory for the major indices. So we're looking for on the back of this oversold bounce that's underway, a nice sort of retest of support that we suspect might be unsuccessful, meaning yet another breakdown for the market, after which we'll start to look for those signs of a basing phase. Okay, and given the current market volatility, what advice do you give your investors to best manage this risk? It is all about having sort of well-defined risk metrics, and the charts lend themselves very well to that. So we're trying to establish stop losses by identifying support. Support is a potential area of buying pressure on a chart. So by identifying that support level, you can easily understand where risk is heightened because a breakdown would suggest that momentum should accelerate to the downside. So we're often looking at support levels to help manage that risk. And then we also consult the longer term trend following gauges to try to understand when that momentum is shifting to the downside to essentially get ahead of it. And we have a new ETF that we launched in March called the Fairly Tactical Sector ETF. And the design of that ETF, which the ticker is TAC or T-A-C-K, is to do that for you. Essentially, we have investments in the sector spider funds. That's where we start. We are looking for sector leadership, but we're also trying to understand when those sectors lose leadership or momentum. And when that happens, we have a risk off category that we move into, and that therein becomes that kind of limited drawdowns, and we're still trying to leverage the upside in the market, but also move into alternative asset classes at times when the market dictates it. So right now that, that TAC fund is pretty highly risk off. We have exposure to short-term treasuries, long-term treasuries, and gold. That's pretty sizable. And the sector exposure currently is energy, consumer staples, and utilities. You can see that's a little bit more defensive. Great. All right, well, Katie, wonderful to talk with you. You as well. And that's ETF Leaders, powered by the New York Stock Exchange.